Hello subscribers, here is another review, and this time, it's the Chapmate Dino Valley Plesiosaurus set. So, um, I, uh, I found this on eBay, like you guys saw in my unboxing video. It was $18 in total, which is not that bad for, you know, a rare set. So, um, of course we don't have the packaging, so this is the closest thing I could get to the packaging. So as you can see, it says Dino Valley Escape from Primal Danger, and you see, um, a picture of the uh, Chapmate Stegosaurus figure right there. See the back? Um, it's just, you know, warning stuff, and then, the, uh, these, uh, ferns right here. So, yeah, that's the, uh, title. So, as you can see, we have, uh, the diver, all these accessories, and then, of course, the plesiosaurus. Let's go over the diver and the accessories first. Here we have the human figure. Now, this particular human, uh, he will be retooled and repainted for some Animal Planet Sea Life sets. So, here's, um, a human from one of the, um, uh, Animal Planet Sea Life sets, which I think was either a sperm whale or a sawfish, but you can see how similar they look, especially in um, the heads. So yeah, see, uh, detailing on this figure is pretty good. See, uh, his uh, he has blonde hair right here, and then his uh, life vest right here is red, and it doesn't really seem to be removable. Then uh, he has black tattoos on his arms, and bluish green gloves, and um, uh, shorts. So you got the little slot strapped to his leg to help him put the knife in. So yeah, that's about it for the uh, human figure. Now let's take a look at the smaller pieces. So here's all of the, the smaller pieces. So um, this thing, oh, this thing is featured in a lot of Animal Planet Sea Life playsets, but uh, I don't really know what this thing is called. So next up, here's uh, the goggles right here. And then here's uh, the two flippers. Then here we have this little black flashlight right here. Then here we have uh, the knife right here. And here we have this thing which looks uh, appears to be a wallet. And of course we have um, the air tank. And I'm probably the most unique um, uh, sm mini, mini piece in the set, which is this. Looks to be a, a harpoon gun, but you know there's a little pitchfork on here. And um, you're supposed to push it forward, and it's supposed to launch out, like that. Let me try uh, showing that from a different angle. Yeah, sometimes, um, depends on how you press it, sometimes it'll just stay in like that. But see, the gun is pretty detailed, so is the little uh, pitchfork right here. See, it's a kind of a scarlet color, so nice colors. See, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for the uh, small pieces in the set. Now let's get, you know, to the main attraction. Here is the plesiosaurus, and um, despite this one being you know an inaccurate figure, is actually quite nice. It's uh, well, actually one of my favorites of you know of the uh, Chapman mini prehistoric animals. You know this one um, looks pretty retro looking. It's like a cross between you know a retro plesiosaurus and you know the typical um, ferocious look of uh, Chapman prehistoric animals. You know, a pretty you know Loch Ness monster like too. Of course, you know uh, the neck. Which is, you know, the most notable inaccuracy because plesiosaur necks were not meant for, you know, uh, bending up vertic vertically. But see, you got all these nicely sculpted scales all over the body. See, you got uh, this uh, muscular neck right here with all these lines sculpted on here. And see, you got the head right here. It's very nicely detailed. See, you got that mean orange eye with the slit pupil. Then you got these bright white teeth with the pink tongue. See, the underbelly is white. And then there's these green striping, and um, across the figure is just a, a, a bluish green, and then the head is black. Now, um, there are two other variants of this figure right here. The other one is like um, a beige figure with uh, purple stripes, and then the other is like a turquoise blue with orange stripes. But I think this is the uh, best of the three. See, uh, strangely, this one has an eel, an eel-like tail right here. So, to me, this seems like a cross between a plesiosaur, a sea turtle, and a moray eel. So yeah, that's it for the details. And also, um, he stands on, he stands perfectly on his flippers right here. Sometimes, you know, um, say the Chapman Lyopleurodon, or any other marine reptile figures that uh, stands on their um, fins, they usually tend to fall over. Thankfully, this one, uh, you know, balances just fine. Now for the aesthetics of the figure. Even though... You know, of course, being a Chapmay uh, prehistoric animal, it's not going to look realistic. But I still think it actually looks nice, you know, because of all these uh, great details and uh, the wonderful paint scheme. 
Now, I think this will look good in, in any diorama, because, you know, these colors are nice. They look very aquatic, especially, you know, because of the uh, bluish green. Now, let's uh, start with the comparisons. So, we've got the Plesiosaurus next to the Chapmay Lyopleurodon and Ophthalmosaurus. And these are all very compatible with each other. Nice details, um, nice patternings, wonderful colors. And, yeah, this Plesiosaurus is, is especially compatible with this Lyopleurodon right here. They look very similar to each other. Now let's compare the Chapmay Plesiosaurus next to the Collecte Mini Zephactinus.